What's up, foodies? It's been a long month, but I'm back from Greece, and I brought back a whole bunch of goodies with me. And I'm gonna show you all the things that I brought back. So let's get into it. All right, foodies, first let's start with a bit of coffee. It's early morning here. So, a whole month in Greece, very long time. A little too long, some would say. I enjoyed it, I'm not gonna complain about it. But there was a lot of stuff I had to grab in Greece that I can't get in Canada. So I'm gonna show you the stuff I like and what I brought back. Let's start with my favorite thing. Goodies, I brought back delicious chips. So these are oregano ruffles. I don't know if you can get these anywhere else in the world. I know you can't get them here in Canada. I had these when I was over there, they're amazing. They're probably one of my favorite chips now. We also found a bag of tzatziki chips from uh, Lay's. Couldn't find those anywhere else in Greece but corn. So maybe that's a corn thing, I don't know. But these, these are amazing. Grab a bag if you're ever in Greece and try them out. We also use these to help uh, brace the baggage when we came back. A little bit of a padding from all the glass bottles we brought back. There's a lot of glass in here and you'll start to see it as we go through this. So yeah, one of my favorites are chips and I'm a sucker for Oreos. So I also brought back Oreo bites and Oreo bars. Not like it's special to Greece, but there's little Oreo pieces. Like, look at this. Little Oreo pieces in the chocolate in this guy. Had to get it. Main reason I'm doing this video today so I can just eat this chocolate bar. When we came back into Canada, during these times, there's long lines to go through customs. I would have been cleared to go right through, not have to deal with a line of customs. I would have been cleared right away, except I brought back cheese. I brought back one of the most amazing cheeses I've ever had. This is a firm uh, mazithra. It's like a Parmesan cheese. Uh, $5 for two kilograms. Two kilograms? No, one kilogram. $5 a kilogram. That's awesome. You can use this cheese in any place you can use Parmesan. So on top of pastas, breads, it's amazing. So what I'm gonna do is cut this up into sections, freeze it so it lasts longer, and I get to enjoy it until my next trip to Greece. And I'm not sure how long that's gonna be, but at least I'll have some mazithra here. All right. Also, can't really find these around here unless you go to a specialty store and there's not too many of those here. So these are breads that have been twice baked. They bake them originally, they slice them, and then you put them in these little, little cubes. Um, and then they bake them again so they're hard. I have a recipe for dacos. It's a Cretan salad. You can find it here. Used quite a bit in Greece. They're almost in every grocery store. They're used for little appetizers while you're having wine, or raki, or um, zithra, or ouzo. Uh, yeah, so brought back some barley rusks. Shannon's favorite thing is Cretan salad, so we'll be making a lot of those. Also, good padding for your suitcase full of glass. I recorded a lot of footage while I was in Greece. So much footage, I, it's gonna take me forever to go through it. But with that said, you'll notice in those videos that are gonna be coming out in the next little bit, I love frappe. I almost had one every single morning. I fell in love with it. It's a coffee drink and I had to buy frappe mix. It's essentially Nescafe evaporated coffee. Now, anyone who knows me knows I hate instant coffee. That's essentially what a frappe is, but whatever they do to it, which I know what they do to it, it makes, it, it tastes really good. And it's the only way I will drink an instant coffee. So you put this in hot water and I'll chuck it in the garbage. But you put this with some sugar and a bit of milk and mix it up and make it frap, like make it all foamy. That's something I can get on board with. So I brought back a little uh, uh, Nescafe frappe mix. I don't think there's any difference between this and regular Nescafe. Some say there is, some say there isn't. I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff. It's just Greeks got creative and made a frappe out of it. But there will be a recipe for this coming soon. So keep an eye out for that on how to make a frappe with a regular Nescafe. Um, and they're really good. So you will enjoy that video. But had to bring one back. One of the most popular toppings you will find in Greece outside of honey is this sour cherry preserve. We tried this first when we were in Kostraki, um, just outside the monasteries of Meteora. So before we hiked up to the top of Meteora, a couple of little uh, places you can hike, we uh, went to a coffee shop and had some little bites of cheese and meat. And they served us some um, preserves on the side. This stuff is amazing. It is probably one of the best things I've ever had. So I had to go find some. And then when I learned it was literally just sour cherry berries cooked, I have a sour cherry tree in my yard and it's growing. And it didn't yield any fruit this year because I had a bad winter. But I think next year, I'm gonna have to make some sour cherry preserves if there's enough berries. But make sure you give this a try. Uh, you can go to yogurt shops while you're in Greece and they will have this as a topping. Almost every place that has a dessert will have Greek yogurt and uh, either sweet cherries or sour cherry preserve. Give it a try. Get some of this stuff while you're over there. 
Shan is not allowed to have any of this. This is all mine. And uh, let's move on and see what else we got in here. All right, guys, while we were in Athens, we took a little boat tour out to the islands of Agena. Agena is known for pistachios. These are like, we weren't planning to buy pistachios while we we're there, but while we we're doing a little tour around the island, there was a vendor, a farmer vendor had their little booth set up and oh my God, he started sampling all the things he'd had. And it's not just pistachios in the bag. These were amazing, probably the best pistachios I've ever eaten, but he also had pesto made with pistachios. Pesto made from pistachios, really tasty. Little different than your normal pesto. I'm probably gonna make a recipe of this out of those pistachios. So keep an eye out for that. That will be coming, because once this runs out, I'm gonna need more. That's pesto. Oh, right, we did. I thought we bought the pesto. Oh, because I, I can make it. So guys, I didn't read this. I thought it was the pesto. I never got the pesto. I will have to make the pesto. Shannon corrected me. This is crispy peanut, uh, this is crispy pistachio butter. Better than pesto. Really good. Little bits of crispy pieces in it. Um, it's little crunchy pieces of pistachio mixed in. It's not smooth, so it's like crunchy peanut butter, but pistachio. Look, look at that color of green. Like, look at that. Like, that's beautiful. Can't wait to dig into that on toast. And then we have our straight up pistachio butter, smooth, creamy, super tasty. So the sad thing was we could only bring back so much stuff. And it was essentially this suitcase. And this was at its max weight. It cost like $150 to bring back each suitcase. Not doing that, way too expensive. The vendor gave me a little card saying I can order anytime I want to restock on my stuff. He, I can either pay air shipping or, or ground shipping. So I will actually give a link to his Facebook below and you guys can reach out to him and actually order this exact same stuff. I'm not sponsored, he didn't pay me to do that. I just think the product's really well and I wanna share it with you guys. Whew, there's so much stuff. I've also wrapped stuff, or Shannon wrapped stuff. I don't remember everything I bought because we were over there for a month. So this is almost like Christmas morning for me as well. So let's dig in and see uh, what this is. Let's that over there. So this is Greek salt. It is smoked Greek salt, so it makes it very black and dark color. It has a smoky flavor when you put it on your meats. So I think this would be great on steaks, uh, uh, chicken, give that extra smoky flavor. This is made in Greece. Miscellanea is where I think it's from. Can't really pronounce it. It's on the thing here, if you can read it. That's what it is. Um, I'm not fluent in Greek, so I'm sorry. And I can't pronounce all of it. I try my best. Um, smoked salt, great on meats. Can't wait to try this out. Haven't tried it before, so had to bring some back. All right, what else we got in here? All right, here we go. Piece de resist, oh, I almost dropped that on glass. If you're in Greece, you need to bring back honey. Now this isn't any regular honey. This is Cretan thyme honey. It is known as to be one of the best honeys in the world for the flavor. It's got a dark color to it. And I brought back a bottle here and I have another bottle hidden here somewhere. It's wrapped up, so it'll be a surprise later. But this on yogurt, nothing compares. Like there's good honey, but then there's Cretan thyme honey. You need to try this. Get down to Crete. Crete was amazing. It's one of my favorite places in Greece. Bought lots of honey, ate lots of honey while I was down there. Make sure you grab some honey while you're down there. You won't be disappointed. So what is this, Shannon? She bought wine. Shannon bought wine. Shannon's a wine drinker. All right, so this is a bottle of wine Shannon drank while she was in Greece. She fell in love with it, so she had to bring back a bottle. It's a rosé. It actually is pretty good. Can't go wrong with it. But she also bought a bottle of wine from Crete. This is it, isn't it? So this, this rivaled her favorite wine. So this is why she had to bring it back. So that's, that's something. She loves her wines and she loves a, a winery in Vancouver, BC called Rollingdale. And we take a, ri a drive out there every year to get this wine. And uh, when she was in Greece, she found this and was like, this is just as good. She won't say better, but just as good as Rollingdale. She won't do that, even though it is better. While we were in Crete, we went to the wine center Crete to do a wine tasting, really great place. It took us two hours for a one hour tour. Lots of value, Shan became a wine snob after it. The wine tasting is in Hanya, so if you're in Hanya, give them a shot and uh, bring home some delicious wine. There's many different types of Greek liquors that you might've heard of, Ouzo, Raki, but have you heard of Mystica? Mystica is made from tree resin. It, it's similar to like a gin or a sugary water with a tree hint of gin flavor to it. You can tell it's from a tree. This brand was recommended to us by a restaurant we were dining at. They said, this is the only one to get. The rest are okay, but this is the best. Skinos Mazithra Spirit, really good. He did give us a shot after our meal. This is why we bought it. Brought back a couple, some for me, some for my friend. Gonna use this, uh, drink this around Christmas time. 
That's what's gonna be my Christmas drink this year, I think. And uh, let's dig into the next part of the suitcase. So while we were in Greece, uh, we had a friend text us and go, hey, can you pick me up some blankets? There was a couple blankets she wanted from Athens. So this is made out of 100% Greek cotton. So while we were driving through Greece, we noticed tons of cotton on the side of the highway and didn't realize Greek actually made a lot of cotton. So while we were in Greece, uh, Andrea, gave us a text, one of our close friends, and asked to grab a couple blankets for her. This is her blanket, we bought one too, but we had to take it out, because while we were in the airport, doing a layover to come home, Shannon got cold and wanted her blanket. Uh, this was 25 euros, and we got this in Monastiraki in Athens. Really comfy, really soft, I like it. I should have got another one. If you're in Athens, or in Greece at all, try to get one of these blankets, they're really cozy. Watch out, there is cheaper ones that look just like this, but they're cheaper than 25 euros. They're not the same, they're not made with the Greek, uh, cotton and they're cheaper quality. So make sure you grab a blanket. We have a whole bunch of stuff, all my favorite stuff. Raki, it's a big popular drink in Crete. It's made from grapes. I like to call it the tequila of Greece cause it's got a bit of kick to it. We had it pretty much at every meal after we were done uh, with dessert in Crete. When we got to the mainland it was more ouzo or mystica for the dessert wine uh, or dessert drink. Uh, this one is a lemon liqueur, so it's flavored, has a bit of flavor. The straight up Raki is pretty potent. This stuff's a little bit better. Not a huge fan of it. Shannon liked it. So this is lime flavor. Give Raki a try if you're in Greece. It's worth a shot. If you like tequila, you will love it. Remember I said about lots of honey? This is the other bit of honey we bought. This one was uh, another wild herb and thyme honey. I tasted this honey, it was really good, so I was like, need a bottle of it. So that's another jar of honey to put on the shelf. And this would be organic, extra virgin Greek olive oil. Some of the best olive oil in the world is from Greece. So this is from Crete. It's a more a fruitier, lighter flavor. There's different types of olive oil. Some are more bitter and tart. This one's a light, fruitier uh, olive oil. It is certified that it's 100% olive oil from Greece. Here's all the words on the side. I don't know if you can see those. De definitely a good oil. You have to bring some back. So we also got these nougats of, um, I don't know if they're really Greek-y things, but they were given to us because I was such a funny person uh, while we were shopping when we bought our blankets. The uh, store lady gave us some free candies, uh, nougats, of uh, they have different fruits in them. Uh, so gonna give these a try, not sure what they're like, but they're free and uh, thank you if you ever watch this. And while we were in Greece, we had to grab some Greek saffron. Saffron is probably the most expensive herb in the world. Never tried uh, organic uh, Greek saffron, so I'm gonna give this a try. Oh, when you're in Greece, you're gonna realize you can buy Greek yogurt in a clay pot for $1.50. You get to keep this clay pot that's food grade. You can cook and eat out of this. There's a whole bunch of different sizes. Like, this is awesome. I bought a bunch of yogurt just to get the clay pots and you know, eat the yogurt, but these are cheap clay pots and I brought them back because I like cooking and they're gonna be great for dips and all kinds of meals that I'm gonna be cooking over the next little bit. I'm sure I'll use these in my videos as well. Keep an eye out for them. Actually, in my last Greek yogurt, how to make Greek yogurt video, I used a clay pot a friend gave me from Greece, so they're really useful and really cheap. So if you want some cheap stuff to bring back from Greece, grab some yogurt, have it breakfast, and then you get to keep the pot. All right, gigantes or butter beans. Very hard to find here in uh, Alberta for some reason. You can get some brands, but they don't taste very good. The ones from Greece are amazing. So I bought a pack, couple packs of these. Gonna have a recipe coming up soon actually for uh, Greek gigantes or butter beans and tomato sauce. Keep an eye for that. These are amazing. Grab yourself a couple packs. They're like $1.50 and they're tasty and they're Greek. So while we were uh, visiting Corinth, ancient Corinth, we found um, a store that was selling oxymeli, which is a mixture of honey and vinegar. So it's like a sweet and sour kind of drink. You can drink this hot or cold. What it's meant to be used for is after you're done eating, it's helped to, to relax the stomach and help digest the food. Uh, still got a sticker on it here for pricing. Let's rip that off. It actually is really good. Um, I think it'll be good on a hot, uh, hot, on a cold winter's day, having this after a nice meal. Probably, like I said, Christmas time. This is where I'm gonna be probably using this mostly. Something different. It tastes really good. They gave us a little sample in the store, so I had to buy some and show you guys. This is, uh, this is uh, some pretty, pretty tasty stuff. You, so you can dilute this with water. We tried it straight. It was pretty good straight. I probably have it a bit straight, a little shot of it. It's almost like a vinegar shot, if you're into that kind of thing, but. Cool little thing to bring back from Greece. So while in Greece, also bring back figs. We grabbed a couple different kinds of figs. This is from Kalamata, and then this one was from 
Avia. Avia. Some figs, some dried figs. These are much better than the figs we can get in the stores here. They're much tender, much softer, sweeter. When we were in Greece, we noticed everywhere there's figs. We were in fig season while we were over there. And all on the ground, all you see is these dried figs or just mush figs. It was awesome. Just walking on a trail and just grab a fig and eat it. Shannon had one. She was like, these are super sticky. Didn't realize how sticky figs were. She wasn't a fig fan because when we get figs over here in Canada, they're flavorless, they're super expensive, and she doesn't like buying them. When we were there, we bought a whole crate of figs, like fresh figs, for like $2. And we put it, there's, I think I did a video earlier of, uh, I drizzled, put on some yogurt and then drizzled with honey. Had that at the last morning before we left to come back home. Super tasty. Grab some dry figs. There's a this dish Shannon wants me to make that involves dry figs, so that's what these will be used for. Not gonna tell you what it is. It will be a video. It's coming soon. And in Greece, gotta get some Spanakopita pans or pie pans to make some pies. Um, not super easy to get here in Canada, so I grabbed these over there. I think they were a couple dollars each. I wanted to bring some back for some pies I'm gonna make in the future, maybe a video or two. Definitely uh, grab yourself a pie if you're into making pies. Most of the pies I do make on my channel are little triangles, but I am gonna be making some that are pie-shaped, so keep an eye out for those. There was one other thing I wanted to get while I was in Greece, and it is essentially grape molasses. It is uh, a sticky, syrupy grape syrup is what it is. And they used to use it to make the ancient baklava called gastrin. So it was the very first form of baklava, which what baklava evolved into. There is debate on where baklava came from. I'm not gonna start that argument, but they do use this. So it's like a molasses syrup uh, of grape. Really sweet, really tasty. Gonna play with it, make something with it. Maybe I'll make an ancient baklava. We'll see, I don't know if I have enough for that. It is a very little small amount I brought back, but it's tasty. Give it a try while you're over there. While we were going through the grocery stores, yes, I went to the grocery stores because that's where you get all the good stuff. Stuff you don't really usually see. And it's normally priced stuff. You go to the 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 uh, tourist sections, everything's super expensive. You can, this exact same stuff was like 10 euros. It was three euros in the grocery store. So I grabbed it while I was in there. So this is a, it's like a, a vinegar made with, uh, made out of figs, but it's a glaze. So it's like a balsamic glaze made with figs. Definitely a huge fan of that. Gonna use this on some bruschettas or something. Tip. Go to the grocery store before you buy anything in the tourist area. Because chances are it's at the grocery store and it's a lot cheaper. And then we were just speaking of baklava. We brought back some baklava. So apparently where we got this, the girl said this is the best baklava that you can buy prepackaged in Greece. I'm not 100% sure on that, but hey, I'm always down to try some baklava. And it was sealed tightly and had a nice box so it was easy to transport back. I think the best baklava you can have is homemade. You're going to Greece, you gotta bring back some olive wood uh, utensils. So I brought myself back a little spoon. You're gonna be seeing these in the videos. Little, this is for my, my uh, cherry preserves. I got a little spoon, because this is what they gave us when we were at the, the, um, the cafe, when we were going up to the monasteries, when we had our cherries. So they gave us a little wooden spoon and to eat our little cherries. Fits perfectly a little cherry on there. That's what I'm using that for. There's some cooking utensils for when I'm making scrambled eggs or cooking in a pan. So the best thing about olive wood, it's very hard and very durable. You get some of these bamboo uh, utensils fall apart after a year or so. These are meant to last. You're not meant to put them in the dishwasher, but if you take care of them, oil them up every now and then, these will last a long time. This is like cast iron. These are things you give to your kids. These are to be passed down through generations. That's how long they're meant to last. Also a great gift you can give people while you're over there. So those trinkety magnets and all the junk you can buy from all the vendors over there that's just going to be tossed in the garbage. Pay a little bit more. I think this was like five euros. Give someone like a, something that's going to last and they can use. Like this is good quality stuff here. Instead of those little magnets or keychains. Who's, who's, they've never been to Greece. Why are they wearing a Greece keychain? Like been to Greece. I love Greece keychain. Like nah, nah. This stuff. Get them this stuff. This is what they want. Or booze. Or booze. Booze, honey, wood. There's so much stuff you can get in Greece that you don't need trinkets. You can get, like, look at this stuff. If anyone went to Greece and you brought me back any of this stuff, I'd be like, thank you. Thank you. That would be awesome. This is the foodies stuff. If you ever want to get me something, any of the stuff in this video, I will take. So that's everything. That is every single thing I have in my suitcase. It's empty. And I feel like I could have put more in here. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably squeeze a bit more in, but I probably wouldn't overweight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
It's been fun. It's been a great time in Greece. I had so much fun going around, checking out all the different places. I've taken so much video. I have over 6,000 videos and photos I've taken while I was over there. So that means there's a ton of content coming for you guys. And I can't wait to share it. Give me some time. I'm going to edit it all, put it together. It'll be coming out. It'll be under the travel section of the playlist if you, if you want to find it. In the meantime, there is more cooking videos coming because that's what you signed up for. And I'm now inspired after being through Greece to make some new recipes. And until next time, foodie out.